Kevin from Christ Connection, and as a nerd, I have watched my share of shows that have to do with time travel. Uh, Quantum Leap, uh, Doctor Who, uh, Back to the Future, Star Trek, all have episodes or parts that talk about time travel. So uh, I've had more than my share of thoughts of the space-time continuum. And I was thinking about that in relationship to prayer. And what does the Bible say about uh, time travel? And I just want to give you a couple thoughts that might encourage your prayer life. Uh, first of all, when thinking about the past, uh, we don't really want to go back there. Uh, the, back, the past is gone, and we put it under the blood, and we, uh, by praying for forgiveness, and we look back, and the Bible says we should see mer uh, goodness and mercy following us all the days of our life. Well, what about the present? Well, the Bible is very clear that the present is very important. Uh, the importance of today is is highlighted throughout. It refers to our life as grass. Uh, it's it's here to get and day and gone tomorrow. Now, in Minnesota, we'd love to see some grass, but uh, the idea is still there. It's just a brief moment that we live. Uh, finally, about the future. Uh, well, one of the great things that we have is the power of prayer to go into the future. Now, Jesus could come back at any moment, and then uh, that would change things. But if he doesn't, your prayers can be sent into the future. Uh, Mark Batterson, in some of his books, has highlighted this thought for me. Uh, your prayers are like time capsules. They go into the future and uh, can make a difference in it. A moment, I mean, a few seconds ago, I, I was praying for my grandkids. Now, my daughter is seven years old. So, uh, the idea is I'm praying and I'm putting, uh, going, stepping into the future. So, if you want to be a time traveler, be a person of prayer, uh, and you'll see the difference that it can make, or, well, your grandkids will. Uh, thought you might be encouraged. Have a great day.